Estudiantes de la Plata, Wikipedia Audio Club Estudiantes de la Plata, simply referred to as Estudiantes, is an Argentine professional sports club based in La Plata. The club's football team currently competes in the Primera Division, where it has spent most of its history. The club is amongst the most successful teams in Argentina. In 1967, Estudiantes was the first team outside the traditional Big Five to win a professional league title. Since then, the squad has won four more league titles to bring the total to five. It has had even greater international success, having won six international titles. Estudiantes International Silverware consists of four Copa Libertadores, an Intercontinental Cup, and an Inter-American Cup. The club was founded in 1905 when a group of players and fans decided to break away from Gimnasia de la Plata, which favored indoor sports over football. Matches between the two clubs are known as the Clásico Platans. The Estudiantes home stadium is undergoing renovations, so the team plays in the city-owned Estadio Unico de la Plata. History Other sports where Estudiantes competes are basketball, team handball, field hockey, golf, swimming, judo, and volleyball. In 1905, a group of football players and fans in the city of La Plata decided to break away from Gimnasia y Esgrima, the major club in the city, since Gimnasia's management neglected football after the closure of their field on 13th and 71st streets. Thus, on August 4, 1905, in the shoe store New York on 7th Street, between 57 and 58 of the city of La Plata, the club was founded under the name Club Adeltico Estudiantes. Its first president, Miguel Gutierrez, was elected on the very same night, when the club charter was drafted by card-carrying member number one, Alfredo Lartigue. Since its inception, the organization primarily was dedicated to football, but over the years the club expanded and incorporated basketball, handball, field hockey, tennis, swimming and golf, among others. In those days, teams like Lomas AC, Quilmes, Belgrano AC, Estudiantil Porteno, San Isidro and Argentino de Quilmes, among others, faced each other in successive tournaments organized by the Argentine Football Association with alumni being one of the most successful. On February 28, 1906 Estudiantes adopted a jersey design of striped red and white, in honor of alumni, that had won 10 championships between 1900 and 1911. However, during the early years, Estudiantes had to use a red shirt with a white stripe in the chest, because league authorities decided the uniform was too similar to alumni's. The first pitch of the club was located at the intersection of 19th and 53rd Streets in La Plata, with the first match being played on November 7, 1905, when Estudiantes faced Nacional Juniors from Buenos Aires. A year later, Estudiantes enrolled in the Asociación Amateurs de Football. The stadium on First Avenue opened on December 25, 1907. Estudiantes' first achievement was the 1911 Primera B title which allowed the team to play at the top division of Argentine football, Primera División. Just two years later Estudiantes won its first title in Primera, playing at the dissident Federación Argentina de Football. That season the team disputed 18 matches, winning 14 with only one lost and scoring 64 goals. 
In 1914 Estudiantes made another great campaign but the team finished second to Porteno. 1919 saw Estudiantes finishing second to champion Boca Juniors although the association put an end to the tournament with 14 fixtures still to be played. The association alleged that the championship took longer than expected so it was suddenly finished. In subsequent years, Estudiantes made irregular campaigns, in some cases finishing at the bottom of the table. Nevertheless, the team made a great performance in 1928 when finishing third to champion Huracan and Boca Juniors. The last year of amateur era saw Estudiantes being runner-up to Boca Juniors. The team totalized 56 points in 35 matches, with 27 1 and 7 losses. First Years When professionalism was adopted in Argentine football in 1931, Estudiantes had a famous offensive lineup. Miguel Angel Lori, Alejandro Scapelli, Alberto Zosaria, Manuel Ferreira, and Enrique Gueta, known as Los Profesores, and still regarded as one of Argentina's all time finest. Alberto Zosaria scored the first goal of professional football in Argentina and was the top goal scorer of the first professional tournament. Ferreira played for the national team in the 1928 Olympic Games and the 1930 World Cup. Cueta and Scapelli played for Italian national team that won the 1934 FIFA World Cup. Sal Calandra, the Sabara brothers and Armando Neri were feared defensive players. In 1937, a pioneering lighting system was installed in the stadium allowing night games to be played. The 1950s saw the rise of goalkeeper Gabriel Agando, and players such as Walter Garcerón, Alberto Bush, Juan Uriole Bidia, Ricardo Infante, Hector Antonio, as well as the final seasons of striker Manuel Pellegrina, who remains Estudiante's all-time top scorer with 221 goals. Following a confrontation with the Peronist government of Buenos Aires province, the club's management was removed by authorities the government-appointed management disbanded the team, top scorers Infante and Pellegrina signed with Huracan. The decimated team was relegated in 1953, but after the return of Pellegrina, Estudiantes was promoted the following year. The club was allowed to govern itself soon thereafter. In the 1960s, Miguel Ignamiriello coached the Estudiantes under-19 team known as La Tercera Camada, which would evolve, with a few acquisitions, into the team coached by Osvaldo Zubeldia that won the 1967 Metropolitano Championship. With this title, Estudiantes became the first club outside the Big Five to obtain a professional title. This opened the floodgates, and soon other small clubs would do likewise. Estudiantes went on to win the Copa Libertadores three years in a row, and the 1968 Intercontinental Cup against Manchester United. The latter game is still remembered for the violent behavior of Estudiantes players. They lost the Intercontinental title against AC. Milan and Feyenoord. Estudiantes won the maiden edition of the Copa Interamericana in a three-legged final against the reigning CONCACAF title holders, Mexican club Toluca. The last part of the Zubeldia era was marred by the antics of some players. Following a violent intercontinental match against Milan, the entire team was arrested on orders from Argentine President Juan Carlos Ongania. In an unprecedented step, goalkeeper Alberto Poletti was suspended for life and did time in jail, together with teammates Ramona Aguirre Suarez and Eduardo Lujan Manera. Because of these events, 
it became a cliché to refer to Zabeldia's football as El Anti-Football, not only because of its physical violence, but also due to its frequent resort to time-wasting tactics. The Times went so far as to call Estudiantes one of the most despicable teams ever to emerge from South America. Zubeldia hired former referees to lecture the team on regulations, so that his players would be able to exploit every loophole in the book. Also, he incorporated tactics that were unheard of at the time, such as playbook drills for free kicks and corner kicks, the offside trap, and double marking opponents. First title The Professors The Zubeldia team counted two physicians among its stars. Carlos Bailardo and Raul Madero graduated from the University of Buenos Aires Faculty of Medicine during their playing days. Juan Ramon Varon was a gifted player who could play left wing, but would also join the midfielders or attack from the right. He profited from the no-nonsense playing of Marcos Conigliaro, Juan Miguel Echicapar and Madero, and the tactical guidance provided by Bailardo. Right back Eduardo Lujan Manera was a very talented player, but suffered from repeated injuries and did not reach his full potential. Fullback Aguirre Suarez was noted for his often violent play, and so was Luis Medina. International Success Carlos Bailardo Era Decline and Return to Success Facilities Supporters After the 1970 season, Carlos Bailardo retired from play and got involved in his family's furniture business. As the team's fortunes were declining and relegation seemed a possibility, he was called by management in mid-1971 to coach the team. Under his guidance, Estudiantes lost the 1975 Nacional title in the last day of play and made it to the 1976 Copa Libertadores. In the ensuing years, Bailardo alternated between coaching Estudiantes and Colombian teams. He was briefly the coach of the Colombian national team, but was called again by Estudiantes in 1982. Soon after, the team won the 1982 Metropolitano Championship. Under his successor Eduardo Lujan Manera, also a member of the Zubeldias team, Estudiantes won the 1983 Nacional Tournament as well. Both wins were at the expense of a star-studded Independiente. Those championship teams were anchored by a solid defense, and also had three creative midfielders and two top-notch strikers. Nicknames Bailardo went on to coach the Argentine national team, that won the 1986 FIFA World Cup. The captain of Estudiantes 1982 champions, José Luis Brown, scored the opening goal in the final match against West Germany. Four years later, Bailardo's Argentina reached the final of the 1990 FIFA World Cup. Madero was team physician for both events, and Ricardo Echeverria, also from Estudiantes, was fitness coach. Estudiantes was relegated for the second time after the 1993-94 season, and again returned to the first division the very next season which was the breakout year for Juan Sebastian Varon. In the ensuing years, the club had irregular results, and became known mostly as the breeding ground for strikers such as Martin Palermo, Luciano Galetti, Bernardo Romeo, Ernesto Farias and Mariano Pavoni, as well as other quality players such as José Ernesto Sosa and Pablo Piatti. Bailardo returned as coach in 2003, with new management bent on rebuilding the club in his winning ways. Some young players were promoted, such as Marcos Angeluri and José Ernesto Sosa.
When Bilardo departed, the team remained a contender under coaches Reynaldo Merlo and Jorge Burukega. The team made history when it came from behind to win 4-3 against Peruvian Sporting Cristal in a Libertadores match played on February 21, 2006. On May 18, 2006, Burukega was replaced with another former Argentine international, Diego Simeone, who built the team around Juan Sebastián Verón, who returned to Estudiantes after 11 years. Simeone's team was eliminated by Sao Paulo in a penalty shootout in the quarterfinals of the 2006 Copa Libertadores, but went on to an impressive campaign in the local league during the 2006 Apertura. It amassed 10 straight wins, including an unprecedented 7-0 win against Gymnasia in the La Plata Derby, played October 15, 2006. Estudiantes finished the regular season tied for first place with Boca Juniors. A winner-take-all final match was played on December 13, 2006. Estudiantes came from behind to defeat Boca Juniors 2-1, thus securing its first first division title in 23 years. During this campaign, Estudiantes defeated all the Big Five, allowed the least goals, and three of their players were ranked as the league's top three by Sports Diary OLE. Simeone left the team after the 2007 Apertura, and was replaced by former SS. Lazio teammate Roberto Sensini. After a weak finish in the 2008 Clausura, Sensini was replaced with Leonardo Estrada. Under his guidance, Estudiantes reached the final of the 2008 Copa Sudamericana, which it lost to Brazilian side SC Internacional. Shortly thereafter, a string of bad results caused Estrada's departure. On March 2009, former player Alejandro Sabella became head coach, his first such engagement. The team improved their standing in the local league and advanced to the final of the 2009 Copa Libertadores, winning 2-1 on aggregate over Cruzeiro after a goal-less draw in La Plata and an away win on July 15, 2009. Varon was chosen as the competition's most valuable player, and Moro Baselli was its top goalscorer, with a decisive header in the final match. Thus. Estudiantes earned the right to play the 2009 FIFA Club World Cup Indiana Abu Dhabi. In that event, Estudiantes won their semi-final match against Pohang Steelers 2-1, and lost the final against FC Barcelona 2-1 in extra time, after a 1-1 tie in regulation time. Players After the Club World Cup participation, Estudiantes finished second in the 2010 Clausura, and won the 2010 Apertura after a protracted battle against Vélez Sarsfield. The team was in transition following the departure of Sosa and the sales of Baselli, right back Marcos Angeluri, and other key players. Jorge Luis Hirsky Stadium is located on 1st Avenue, between 55th and 57th Streets, in La Plata. In its previous incarnation, it had room for 23,000. The wooden stands behind the goal lines were standing room only. The stands next to the avenue were sitting room, and were separated from the avenue by a row of tile trees. The opposite side was roofed and had the best seating arrangements. The noisiest fans used to occupy the 55th Street Popular, while visiting fans were often directed to the 57th St. Popular, opposite a technical high school. Current Squad For many international games in the Zubeldia era, Estudiantes played in Boca Juniors La Bombonera, noted for its intimidating acoustics. 
With the erection of Estadio Ciudad a la Plata in the 1990s, both Estudiantes and Gimnasia decided initially against relocating their home games. However, Estudiantes' field was closed down in September 2005 because of new safety regulations which forbid standing only wooden stands. This began a sequence of political infighting between the club and City Hall. Out on loan Top Goal Scorers Top Goal Scorers in Primera During the 2005 Apertura Tournament, Estudiantes played its home games in the nearby Gymnasia Stadium, and after that in Quilmes Adeltico Club S Centenario Field. There, Estudiantes made history with a come-from-behind 4-3 Libertadores win against Sporting Crystal. On April 2006 a court decree allowed the reopening of 1Y57, but Mayor Julio Alac intervened again to prevent this from happening. In August 2006, an agreement was reached to build sitting room for 20,000 and using the city stadium for games exceeding that capacity. Renovation work on the stadium started in 2007, and has met with opposition from several groups, notably the Hoja de Tilo NGO, who claims that the works would damage the environmental balance of the park behind the stadium. Meanwhile, Estudiantes settled in the city stadium, where it earned five consecutive derby wins and had a streak of 37 games undefeated in the local league. When roofing work began in August 2009 to install a new roof in the city stadium, Estudiantes moved once again to Quilmes. As the city stadium will host the 2011 Copa America, it is expected to reopen in time for the 2011 Clausura. Estudiantes' training grounds are located in the country club premises in City Bell, north of La Plata. Many facilities were paid for by Juan Sebastian Varin while he played in Europe. Varin was also instrumental in the negotiations over the stadium, meeting then-president Nestor Kirchner to unlock the process that was being stalled by Mayor Alac. Within the La Plata area, Estudiantes was traditionally regarded as the club of the middle class, while rival side Gymnasia y Esgrima was identified with the working class. This characterization seems to be outdated. While the two clubs have roughly the same pull in La Plata, Estudiantes has more of a nationwide following, especially after its international successes in the 1960s. There used to be much discussion about which club has the larger following, but Estudiantes seems to have pulled forward. For several periods in the club's history, a cotter of fans from Buenos Aires were a powerful element within the base. A famous fan since the 1960s is Raul Bernchia, known as El Pelopapas after his job as a kitchen hand famous for lighting bonfires during games, juggling and performing other stunts. Author Ernesto Sabato was an Estudiantes sympathizer, and was honored with a ceremony where he was given a number 10 jersey. Arturo Jorich mentioned Estudiantes in one of his books. Other noted fans include tennis player Juan Monaco, actors Jorge and Federico D'Elia filmmaker and politician Fernando Solanas, and journalist Osvaldo Principi. In the 1983 presidential election, Estudiantes fans were, together with their peers from Vélez Sarsfield, the first to voice their support for eventual winner Raúl Alfonsín in his bid against the Peronistas. The friendship with Vélez supporters has since vanished especially after an Estudiantes win denied Vélez the 2003 championship. Estudiantes is on friendly terms with several clubs from the south side of Greater Buenos Aires, especially Quilmes and Temperley. Platense, 
from the north side of Greater Buenos Aires, held a special place in the hearts of Estudiantes fans, as it cemented Gimnasia's relegation in 1979. Estudiantes is also friendly with the Uruguayan fan base of Pinarol, once their classic Libertadores rivals. Estudiantes shares colors with Spanish side Athletic Bilbao, and during a period in the 1950s, both institutions shared a reputation for confronting the government. During these times, Bilbao donated a set of jerseys to Estudiantes. The relationship has been rekindled in the 2000s through Argentine expatriates and partisan blogs. The nickname Pincharitas often shortened to pinches, comes from the nickname of Felipe Montadonica, who spent much time chasing after rats in the La Plata market in the 1910s and 1920s, and hence was known as El Pincharitas. Pictures exist of Montadonica with some of the players, where his nickname is mentioned. Traditionally, the nickname is also associated with the laboratory work done by the many medicine students among the club's early members. This nickname extends to the fans. It is common to hear fans say Soy del Pincha. Fans also call the team El Leon, El Orgulo de la Ciudad, Los Capos de la Plata, and El Unico Campeón de la Ciudad because they are the only team in the city that has won an official tournament. For several years, many chants incorporated the word Tricampion because of the Libertadores' three-peat. After the 2009 Libertadores final, some of the newer lyrics use the word Tetracampion. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Managers Honors National League National Cups International